What's going on guys? It's your favorite Al Eagle Owl here. We got a brand new reaction for you guys today to Victoria Justice Raw. Guys, we haven't heard of Victoria Justice on in a minute. Well, on the channel, we haven't, but she's been releasing music like kind of slowly and everything, of course, but we got another comeback from Victoria and I know everyone wants a Victoria Justice album. I do personally want a Victoria Justice album. I've said this for like, what is it? Since when she went back into music, which was like COVID. That was like COVID time, 2020. And that's crazy. It's been three, four years. Four years, Victoria. Where's the album? I'm just saying, it's been four years. Where's this album? I want to see this. Release it. It's been four years, girl. Where are you at? Where are you at? You have all these songs. You're independent while in a sense kind of independent with this song she released it on a label but also for her other tracks aren't so it's like it's a weird mix i think she's trying to like single contracts with songs and everything for labels and that but you you could drop that album victoria you could drop it i know you can so oh we're getting groovy yeah okay okay victoria <laughs> you find you were in my skin I wasn't Ooh. ready yet to let somebody in But think about you ain't more than I should have been I can't lie, oh I Never oh. been too good at being vulnerable Kay. I'm nervous cause I'm starting to get comfortable Thinking that we could be something beautiful This time I gotta ask you If I'm <laughs> Wait, I love that little but I'm not gonna ask you, ask you. Who was that? That wasn't Victoria. That was someone who did that line. That's that was. You made a catchy one. You made a catchy one, I think, girl. Damn. I'm not perfect, but I'll give you okay. Thinking this out of context, you don't listen to this. <laughs> okay. You don't listen. <laughs> Am I thinking of this just like, not like, Professionally standpoint, like you just hear this. I'm awful. I'm awful. I'm I'm awful. I'm awful. I feel like you could have fixed that better between what the lyrics were if you meant what you meant. I don't know. I generally don't know. I know I know in in standpoint saying like you want raw vocals you want to be raw with your music and everything i get that standpoint but out of context not knowing about the song meaning and everything and someone just has this then yeah it's bad That was quick. That was a very quick little verse. Okay. Well, I guess, yeah, because the song's very short, though, so I, I get that. Also, I didn't realize she has like a, she has a tattoo here. Damn, Victoria has a tattoo. Oh. Uh -huh. That's such like, ooh, she changed it up for third chorus. Okay. I'm like, yeah. yeah. She's going higher. Dang. See, I love this. I love this. I love this. 
We love Victoria. We love Victoria Justice. I don't know why. It's 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 weird about the Nickelodeon side of things for artists, especially like with Victoria and that. And it kind of it sucks. I feel bad for a lot of these Nickelodeon stars and musicians that wanted to be coming up and go crazy with their music and everything. It's just like never did work out like with Victoria, which she should be. Granted, her music has been always good, and I don't know why she never had that come up and everything. And it sucks. It sucks. Even myself, I've said it. It's just like, why? Why? It doesn't make sense. But now people are recognizing, hey, she makes music and it's great. And we realized this from the start. She is great. And I hope people realize because she is being raw with into it. So, sort of per se, per se. So, yeah, I, I get this kind of theme that it's very similar i don't know if victoria knows this but caitlin tarvner it's kind of similar vibe to it it's like singer songwriter kind of vibe but more i don't know not folky i know this isn't folky but this is more like lana del rey kind of vibe and everything I, i'm not a lana del rey listener but more like that kind of setting home for music wise i would say so that's victoria i she she's playing around with different songs and trying it out and everything so i'm want that record victoria because you we will get probably all the singles what she might be doing and this is what i think she's gonna be doing everyone is is dropping singles and that's what everyone's gonna be doing right now that's the industry standard of you drop singles and then boom your last single and then you announce the record so that's probably what she's gonna be doing is just dropping singles and then oh let's bring this out into one project and that's what's gonna probably happen and no joke all for you for doing that but me personally i hate that i just want a couple singles and then you drop the project and then we could listen to the project in full that's that's my standpoint but everyone's different and also the music industry is changing like crazy rapidly in that so yeah so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below or your overall thoughts of the song like comment subscribe awesome stuff and i hope to see victoria perform one day live i'm so better she didn't get to come to Canada when I was like very very little I wanted to be here with Big Time Rush but that got cancelled one day one day anyways guys talk to you guys next one and peace out